NUS researchers have developed a new metal-based material that can improve the functionality of certain types of robots. The new metallic material can make soft origami robots that can be used for things like drug delivery in human bodies, prosthetics, as well as search and rescue missions. Assistant Professor Chen Po Yen from the NUS Faculty of Engineering is here to tell us all about it. Thanks, Professor Chen, for coming by. So you brought in some samples there. Now, that's, and Glenda's got one of them in her hands. Uh, just talk us through uh, what this is and what we're looking at. Sure. So you, as you can see, the, the block materials in the bellow structure over there is actually uh, composed of platinum particles and also some of the carbon ash as well. So combined together, they can be a new robotic metal materials that have the multiple functions uh, inside these robotic materials. For example, they can uh, they are soft, as you can see. Uh, the you, you can you can deform it easily, and also they are they are lighter. They are much lighter than the conventional materials uh, like paper or plastic, and also they are fire retardant as well. They can um, they you use the fire to burn it. They won't get ignited easily, and also they have their intrinsic built-in uh, strength sensing and also wireless communication, so they can sense their own self, how they, how they move and how they deform. And also they can communicate with your cell phone and also communicate with other robotic systems as well. Wow, so okay, there's a lot of uses to it. I mean, I'm feeling this right now and it feels, it doesn't feel like it's metal, it almost feels like it's rubber. And this is like a backbone structure. How did you come up with this idea though? Yeah, so we actually are uh, inspired by the phoenix. So the phoenix, you know, when phoenix, they, are, they can reborn themselves in the fire, right? So basically, we use a similar concept to burn the paper and in the fire, we, we, we soak the paper in several of the precursor, and then we burn the paper, and then the, they will grow, the new material will follow the paper structure and then uh, create the new materials onto, uh, as, uh, with a similar structure, like the battle structure over layers. So we use this kind of the uh, old material, like a paper, as the old phoenix, and then we burn it, they will become a new phoenix with more functionalities. Uh, in the robotic systems. Okay, just to help us sort of visualize mm -hmm. uh, an example of how this could be used. Yeah. Uh, we mentioned a prosthetic. Yeah. So how could something like this mm. be used as a prosthetic to help someone? Yeah, as you can see, we can easily deform it uh, by either press it. Uh, and in the, in the, in the real, real usage, you will use, we will kind of like connect it into a pump or pneumatic pump. So basically, there was, you can see that as a balloon. And when you inflate it, they will elongate their lens. And when, they, when you uh, deflate it, they will they become shoulders. So you can attach onto your arm, your, mm. your angle over here, to help the elder people to, to, to lift things as well. So that's one application. So you can wear it like a sleeve. Yes. Okay. So basically, we'll wear somewhere over here. Yeah. And the, one of the advantage of our material is, is they are lighter. Compared to the traditional materials, if they, you want your robotic has some of the sensing capabilities or communication capability, you need to attach some of the external devices, such as antenna, or the sensor onto the robots. Mm. So eventually your robotic system will be heavier. And so if your elder people wear a heavier robots, they will not feel comfortable. Mm. And they also consume a lot of the energy as well. So our robotic, new robotic material can solve this problem easily because this robotic material is lighter and also have this uh, functionality built in into their robotic systems. So they will be like 40% lighter than the current uh, current current setup already. Well, I also understand that this new material can be used um, for search and rescue to drug delivery within the body. But how safe is this material then? So for the drug delivery, is one of the, the interesting topic we are really really look at it. But the, the the main focus for us right now is to use this material uh, in the fire scene as well, because this this material is a metal based uh, material. They won't get ignited like a paper. So they can help the firefighter to get into the fire scenes and then expand themselves to open the crack and then for them to rescue the people inside. And because this one, they have the wireless communications capability, they also have the sensing capabilities. They can real time uh, sensing the feedbacks uh, and then receive the signals uh, through from the commanders. This must be quite exciting. Uh development uh, for you? I mean, the applications mm -hmm. are pretty much only limited by your imagination at this point. Mm -hmm. So what we are trying to do the next uh, is we are trying to incorporate more functionality into the system. Uh, for right now, we are focusing on the sensing and the wireless communications. Uh, eventually, we want to have the energy storage capabilities inside the backbones. So basically, their backbone themselves can serve as a battery mm -hmm. to provide the energy uh, the, the robot need to power themselves uh, move forward. So in, in the end, you don't need to connect to a heavy batteries. 
your backbone themselves can generate, can mm. provide the energy they need to, for them to, to do some uh, certain functions. Well, that's exciting. That's very exciting yeah, indeed. It does sound very exciting. Thank you so much for coming in yeah, and sharing you. that with us. Assistant Professor Chen Po Yan from the NUS Faculty of Engineering. Thank you.